Hey you guys, welcome back. I actually haven't filmed in by like a day in a while. I've been filming a video for a collaboration I'm doing and like a DIY you've already seen by now. But if you can't, oh, well the toilet paper. <laughs> I'm planning um, book club tonight. So I just went out to my garage. Actually just stocked up on a bunch of stuff, toilet paper and and conditioner for the bathrooms, but then I'm setting up for book club tonight. It is a Christmas theme. We're gonna do our Christmas book exchange and voting for 2020. So the way we do it is everyone brings a book to gift, like I'm gonna wrap this one up. This is what I'm suggesting, The Great Alone. And we wrap those up and we kinda of do like a white elephant exchange type of thing. And then, um, we offer up two or three ideas of books that we want to read next year, and we vote on those books, and our top 10 make it in for next year, and we actually assign eight of those for the, you know, the major months, and then we leave two open ones in case we need to swap out, in case one's not as good as we thought it was, or whatnot. And then we use all the extras kind of just as our list to read during the summer if we have time or whatnot. But we are also inviting husbands to come, more guys to come, um, just to kind of see what that's like. They've never done that kind of book club thing before. And they came to our book club last month and they really, really enjoyed it. So they went on kind of like get these ideas and come and um, they'll get their own ideas and their own books and make their own list for their own group. But we also are going to pick one or two books that they want to read with us and then they'll come with us join us next year for those two. So anyway, I am setting out some supplies for desserts, snacks. I told everyone to bring their favorite Christmas snack to share. And so I'm gonna make some ginger cookies here in a minute. Um, it is like 1040, I've had breakfast, kids are at school and watching the news. And what else am I doing? this morning. These need to go upstairs. I always put stuff in my laundry basket when I need things to go upstairs. I'll put those in there. I'm done with laundry. Putting my jeans on after I'm done with, ow, I just stepped on something. Hang on, what is that? It's the other wood round. <laughs> it fell off. I had like everything in my hand when I was coming in. So, I'm just kind of tinkering around. I need to make the cookies, but I'm also trying to finish that little project. Um, cause my, it's a collab video, so it's supposed to be scheduled at a certain time and I just wanna get it done with. And I think I did part of it wrong, either that or I have to kind of fix it. I'm putting toilet paper in my little caddy down here so that guests don't find themselves in a predicament. But um, let's see what else am I doing today. Oh, I have to go get Jason's prescription. Oh my gosh. This is what is called a hot mess or something. Everything isn't quite working right. So I have to go get a prescription for Jason. He literally has tried the past two days to make it home from work in time to make it to the pharmacy at Target and has not made it <laughs> in time. He made it in time to pick up one that had been called in, but he had to drop off the other one and they didn't, they didn't want to take seven minutes to literally pour medicine into a jar for him. <laughs> so he didn't get it last night and I had to go back and get that for him. Kids, little kids have half day today. Um, I'm in a predicament with one of my kids so I'm not sure how that's gonna go later tonight. Hoping it doesn't have major ramifications on our book club night. But um, that's just called life as a parent and having to discipline and... Anyway, you guys are parents and you find your kids have done something behind your back and they have major consequences. You understand that, that grudge that they're gonna give you back is real. 
and I'm worried about that what's gonna what that's gonna be later tonight and I'm worried about Ashley and her behavior because last night I left Kaylee home with her because I didn't want to take her with me as I ran kids to all their activities and Ashley just had a complete meltdown but it was kind of a sweet retribution because Kaylee hadn't wanted to go to the activity in the first place and was kind of giving me a hard time about that. So it was kind of sweet revenge that she had to babysit her very crabby, very tired little sister in a place of going to an activity that would have been calm and relaxing and enjoyable with all of her friends. And so, say love you, right? You learn a lesson, but... I'm like fogging up my own glasses, you guys. It's humid and it's not hot at all. It's cold outside, but it's humid in here. I have the dishwasher going and the dryer going and I still haven't even turned my heat on and 63 in here and I'm hot, but I'm trying to think what else I need to do besides make cookies. And do I cheat and wrap the book or do I or do I wrap the book or do I cheat and put it in a bag? <laughs> it's always like, you know, I haven't pulled out my wrapping paper yet. In fact, what I just put in here, I'll show you. Just got it from Amazon. I haven't pulled out my wrapping paper box for Christmas. But I also, as I was thinking about wrapping that present the other day and getting out my Christmas wrapping paper, I found this on Amazon. It's like a Christmas wrapping paper bag, but I keep a lot of my wrapping paper like here on my shelf because um, I don't like my big bin that's out in the garage. So I kind of got that little thing. Actually, my bin is breaking. That's why I don't like it because every time I pull it down, little shards of plastic break off. So anyway, I'm going to figure out what I'm doing here, finish this project that I'm working on, and then... Um, I'll be back with you. I need to make cookies, go to Target. So, just getting ready for, oh, I need to bring cups. I don't know what cups to do. I like to do real cups. I like to like bring over my little jar stand, but it looks really cute right here. You haven't seen like my full Christmas decoration. I haven't filmed it yet, because I don't feel like all of my Christmas stuff is up yet, so. I haven't filmed it. And I'm still debating on a real tree versus a fake one. And I haven't asked Jason for permission to buy a fake one. Or a real one, for that matter. I should ask him if we could buy another real one this year. And have him give the stink about that. And then say, well, we could buy a fake one. See if I can reverse into it. But Maybe I should take my sweatpants off. Maybe that's what's making me so hot. Maybe jeans are actually less hot. So, anyway. You want some real life? <laughs> I just untaped this little project that I'm working on. And it's a grid pattern. You'll have seen the real video. And I may show this little excerpt in that video. But the third layer of tape and paint is off by a quarter an inch. And when you're doing a grid pattern, being off a quarter inch is probably not the wisest thing. Wanna see? From a distance, it doesn't look that bad. Wanna see up close? Yeah, I'm off on the third layer because I went off of center when I hadn't been going off of center for the rest of it. Ah, I'm so irritated. It took me so long to do this yesterday because between each layer you have to let it dry. But I'm going to do a behind the scenes because guess what? There's a backside. I have to start all over. Because I've already agreed to do this little collab and I want to because I want to get my channel out there to different viewers. There's like 30 different people that are joining this collab. That's a lot of channels that I can get access to, you guys. <laughs> I'm standing in front of a window that's open. And, oh my gosh. The tired person I am right now would say, 
just let it go from a distance your eyes kind of get tricked and if I sanded it down it might not be that big a deal and Jason will be like oh I wouldn't fix it <laughs> it's fine it is what it is but the perfectionist in me is gonna fix it so now I have to go to the store and get more painters tape because do you know how much painters tape it takes to do this something like this so you guys got to see behind the scenes of a DIY gone wrong. I'm so irritated wrong right now. Except that was a lot of cleavage. <laughs> you are getting way more behind the scenes than you should be getting right now. All right, back, literally back to the drawing board. All right, so it looks like I have to take my sweatpants off. <laughs> I saw, a meme that said, oh, dang it, I didn't find what I wanted at Walmart. So now I have to go home and put my, take my pajamas off so I can go to Target. <laughs> this is so true. Like, I actually wear sweatpants to Target all the time. I'm not lying. But uh, I just think it's funny because we feel like we need to dress up more to go to Target. And I need to go to Target. I'm so irritated right now. I can't even tell you. What are we doing, Ash? Making ginger cookies. Ginger, I don't like them cooked dough. You like the dough? Yeah, so I want some just by itself and then some. Tell you what, you help me make all the little the little dough balls and you can have some. Oh. <laughs> Not all of them, Goober. Yes, all. Nope. Wait, do we have to? Okay, so we need flour. Oh. I'll do this. I want you. You go get flour. Flour? We're gonna make cookies for tonight. Yeah. You don't want any of your lunch tomorrow? Yeah, but only the dough. <laughs> you no, you can't take dough to school. Your teachers won't like that. They Why? won't like seeing you eat dough. Why? Nothing has ever happened to me in 40 years of eating dough, but I don't think you can take it to school. I can't do. Okay, go get the flour down and the yeah, uh, sugar. Okay, then we need cinnamon. Look down there. Nope, not here. So that one right there is cinnamon. C I N. A I A N O N. Cinnamon. Yes. Martin Dick. Martin Dick. Oh, I need the actual cinnamon. So it's spelled the same way. And it's right there. There's another one right there. <laughs> So then, and then we need cloves. K. C L. It's right there. L O E. Yep. And then we need. Let me check. We need. Where's my book? Salt. And the molasses. Salt. Salt is right here. And then molasses. And then molasses is up there. There. In the jar. The grandma's. See the grandma on there? What are you guys making? I'm making cookies. Do you want to help? Maybe. Actually, put this flour away here in just a second. Can I put it in? Oh, just a pastry. Um, on the thing, how many cups of flour I go, I go in there? Where are you guys at? The giant ginger cookies. Top of greenie, I think it's four and a half cups of flour. Four and a half cups per for purpose flour. All purpose flour? All purpose flour, yeah. Yep. Good boy. Remember how you're supposed to come home from school bus? I do. It's been an hour. Well, it's been an hour since she got home on the bus. Well that's because we took my friend's dog out. Hey mom, we're gonna run a Luna on a I walk. I did, but no. then you just ran away. I wasn't there when you told me. I did. I said, I'm gonna go, and then you're like, okay, bye. Okay. And then you're like, Chaz, we're gonna get out. And I'm like, no, I don't care. Okay, now we need sugar done. Can I sugar? Yeah. Um, Chelsea, how many things of sugar do we need? Um, no, you can have one. Now, and then they're all for school. I know. 
they would eat me out of granola bars and fruit if I let them eat that here like all day long. Right? So what should we put in first? You always clean your butter. Going back out. Did you put your backpack up? Yeah. We always should cream the butter. Yep, you cream your butters, right? Where is my butter? So now we're gonna put our dry ingredients into our flour, right? Yes. Yeah. I think that's melty. Mom, should we get out the butter? <laughs> now we do it. Slow. doing now? Rolling <laughs> You didn't know. Yeah, they are getting messy, aren't they? And then you do what? And then what do you do? And then you put them on the tray. And then you put them on the tray. Do you have a lot of dough balls to make? Yes. Did I trick you into doing this? No. No? Because <laughs> there's a lot of dough balls to make. Yeah. Yeah. But that's okay. So... I have to go and add another layer to my tray here, or the little sign that I'm making. I'll show you so far. In my second attempt at this, that's where I'm at. So I gotta take the tape off, move the tape to another section, and then um, paint again to fix my mistake. But I own up to my mistakes when I make things. I have nine so here. you have nine? Yes. Okay, you need 12. How many more do you need? What's the difference between 12 and nine? How about you count up from nine? Nine? 10, 11, 12, 12. No, how many? Two, three. You need three more. Little squirt, you're so cute. Okay, you've got our cookies all done. I put one up there and I left this one open in case people bring some snacks. So now I think I'm just gonna, I'm tired. So I'm gonna wrap this in tissue paper and then put some more tissue paper in that. Ashley was quite the helper. Mm. Weren't you, Ash? Got yeah. last tray out, making extra buckets right there and there. And I actually still have dough. I still have that much dough. A lot of people like this dough just as dough instead of with cookies. And I just ran out of steam. <laughs> and Ashley ran out of steam. You wanna see my secret when I have guests coming over and I don't want to finish doing all the things I shove it all into my laundry room so I've got all my Christmas stuff here oh there's Kaylee <laughs> just come in I just what it's out oh my gosh the teenager walks in do we have ramen and it's pretty typical um anyway so here's my laundry room I've got laundry to take up and right there and then I've got my, my Christmas stuff I've got other decorations that have come off but I haven't put them away and then that's Jason's medicine for when he gets home so I'm just shoving it all into this room so I don't have to deal with it shut the door no one goes in there we're having tacos for dinner tonight because I still have all the fixings for that and I'm still in here you guys I'm on I don't know doesn't look like I've made any progress with this, but I have. If you haven't seen this tutorial by now, you should go and check it out because you'll see the behind the scenes of all this effort that I've done to create this stupid board. I'm really excited about it. If I can get the next step done right, it will work. This is where it messed up before. So I'm letting it dry really, really good right now. I actually like the application of the paint that I did this time. If it works, I'm gonna be more happy with it than I was the first time. Wish me luck. If I get to the end of this video and I'm like, oh, it didn't work, you will never see a tutorial on it, so. <laughs> anyway. Also, if you've never watched Grand Hotel on Netflix, you should. 
I mean, I'm on episode 55. <laughs> not, not just from today. I've been watching this for a couple weeks now. And it's really, really good and addicting. Way too easy to watch. But it's in Spanish. So I have to watch the subtitles. So it's super hard to like focus on it because sometimes when I'm doing projects like this, I'll just turn the Netflix on and I can just listen and kind of glance at the screen and I can catch what's going on. But I literally have to read all the words. <laughs> so it's kind of tricky when you're working on a project. All right, so normally in a moment like this, I would be like, oh, it's too crazy. I'm not gonna film. I'll just do it after dinner. Ashley and Chelsea are doing uh, Electronic Time, which is a movie um, during dinner tonight because it's just a little bit crazy and Kaylee and Abby aren't eating right now for different reasons. So I'm just going to show you one little tip that I have with her cheese sandwich. That's what Ashley is having. So let me show you really quick. We turned it into cheese sticks, yeah. right? They're mm -hmm. kind of burnt. No, it's not burnt. That's perfect. See, that side's good. Okay, good. All right. Okay, go eat. Okay. And I'm having taco salad. Chelsea's having salad. I'm having taco, not taco salad. I'm having a t soft taco. So I've got my wrap here. Then I'm just going to have some cucumbers on the side and a banana. The other two will eat the same thing. Abby's just correcting some homework on my computer. And Kaylee, she just eats a ton after school. So she's, because she's just super starving. So she is rarely hungry right at six o'clock when I need to feed everyone else. I'm going to wait here for a second. Are you hungry again? You just she just drank that whole thing of milk. Got more milk? Okay. So I just hang on, Chelsea, hang on. I just did my second layer on my board, the very last layer. Um, so I'm wanting to peel it off and show you, but I'm probably just gonna do it on the actual tutorial video. You can go back and look at it. I think it, I did it right. I think, I think, I think. So I'm gonna go double check that before I sit down to eat. Okay, here it is all done. I really, I want to like, here, I'll give you a little sneak peek. I'll to pull off one of the corners here. See how cool? See, that's right. A little buffalo check, so. I'm super excited that worked. <laughs> I think I want to do one more layer because as I'm looking at that, I'm seeing that the final layer is a little transparent. So I'm going to put this tape back on. Just a little behind the scenes craft project here and how to fix your mistakes. <laughs> Never give up, folks. Never give up, even on craft projects. Abby's here doing her homework checks on the computer. And uh, Jason should be leaving. Oh, dude, I don't totally called that. That's his ringtone, by the way. It's the Jason Bourne ringtone. Hey, and I just literally said, oh, I bet Jason's going to be calling me anytime soon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Are you on your way home? Um, I'm going to do, I got to get a little bit of the cash out of the, uh, I got to manage some of the cash. Okay. Um, I'm going to do that and then I should be on my way home. Okay. Um, Tacos for dinner whenever you get home. Oh, nice. Thank you. And just remember we have book club tonight. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So. The kids? Um, they're fine. We're just eating dinner, so I'm going to head back okay, to that. So okay. I love them and uh, I will be home <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll see you soon then. All right. Okay, bye. Bye. Anyway, I'm going to do a last layer here and then put the kids to bed and do my book club tonight. All right, you guys, we had a really good book club. I'm going to put a list of all the books that we chose from. I think there was like 25 or 30 books because everyone does like two or three selections and we had four people, four or five people who didn't come that still gave us their suggestions and still had the chance to vote. We use um, an app that we put all the book titles in and then you actually put your voting number in the comments and then we get tally those up. So people who weren't here were able to like remotely 
look at all the book choices and then select their choice, their top 10 basically. So we have, I'll send you, or I'll put in the description, our top, our, all of our books like selections because I love to like read through other people's book club ideas to get ideas. So um, the book I got from our book exchange, we always do a little Christmas presents and then we do it like a white elephant where you can steal it twice and then the last person gets to have any you know book she wants to choose from. So I got Olive Kitteridge. Um, I actually didn't know, one of the books that I suggested was Olive Again, which is a sequel to this one, and I didn't know that. So luckily this one was the book that I got, and my friend has the Olive Again book that I can borrow from her as soon as I'm done with this one. And then one of the other selections that we um, had a choice of was Beautiful Boy. It's the movie, it's based on the movie, or the movie is based on this book, um, and Steve Carroll is in it. And um, my friend had this one, as she, you know, she suggested it because she had it herself and had read it. So I'm borrowing that one from her. And I'm super excited to read those books. Jason's already gone up to bed, and I've got a clean kitchen to start our day with tomorrow. And he's got meetings like all day tomorrow. So he won't be around a ton. He usually gets home around the time the kids get home from school when he has a day off slash it's, you know, meeting day. So he won't be around a as much as he kind of is other weeks, but um, he's not feeling good still. Oh, I need to get him his medicine. So anyway, I'll get him his medicine, then I'm gonna go up to bed. I don't think he realized I got it, so. All right, you guys, take him his medicine and I'm gonna say goodnight. And if you ever, if you have any questions about book clubs or how to start one or like, you know, how we vote on our books, I don't think I really explained it very well, but if you want ideas on how to do that, put a comment below, because I love my book club. I have been a part of it for like 14 plus years, and it's like, we're gonna start a new tr tradition this year, so. Um, I'll tell you about that as soon as I make it. So take care guys. Good night.